So how do we overcome fear and take action towards something that we want to achieve? Well, in this video, it's a really important topic that we're going to cover today because I think it's one of the biggest obstacles that holds all people back from starting an entrepreneurial journey. In this video, we're going to break it down into, firstly, we're going to understand fear, why we all have it before we try and start something that we want to achieve. And secondly, we're going to talk about all the strategies and the tips that I can teach you in terms of how to get over fear and really start to take action and make progress towards your goals today. This video is going to be perfect, especially if you're the type of person that's keen to start a business and you want to become an entrepreneur. Perhaps it's drop shipping or any other type of business, but you feel the fear, you feel that self-doubt, you feel that paralyzing, crippling feeling that no matter what you do, it's not going to work and people are going to laugh at you and those types of thoughts. Well, this is going to be a perfect video for you if that's the type of thoughts that you have. And I can certainly resonate with those as well. So let's really dive in firstly to understand what fear is and where it comes from. So fear is essentially a psychological barrier that holds us back and prevents us from trying something that we want to do. That's how we're going to talk about fear today. It's that feeling that you get when you know what it is you want to achieve. You know what it is what you want to do. But there's that feeling or that thought in the back of your mind that's telling you that you can't do that or that you're stupid to even think that you're capable of achieving something that you want to achieve. Perhaps you want to grow an e-commerce business and you want to generate tens of thousands of pounds every month for you and your family. But you look at yourself in the mirror or those thoughts come over the back of your mind and they say, who are you to, to think about that? Those are the thoughts that comes from a fear, which is that psychological barrier that's preventing us from taking the next step and taking action. In the entrepreneurial sense that we're talking about, I think this fear comes from two main places. The first one is a fear of the unknown. And that means that it's because you've never done this before. It's because you've never started a business before. You don't know how it's going to turn out. You don't know what it's going to be like. And so because it's just unknown, even if it's not something that you're particularly scared of, because you don't know what it's going to entail, there's that fear of not knowing what's going to happen on the other side of the action that you take. And fear of the unknown is something that holds back so many people. I've seen it time and time again. The second way that fear can prevent you from going after an entrepreneurial journey is the fear of financial loss. And it's that fear that if you get started, you're just going to lose money that's really going to paralyze you. And there's that fear that no matter what you do, if you try and get over this fear, and if you try and make a start, you're going to lose money from doing that. Uh, and that's a fear that I struggled with. So I'll take you back a few years before I started my businesses and uh, I had this feeling that I just couldn't do it and the little money or you know, had, a, had a few thousand pounds in savings that I did did have, a considerable amount of savings that I'd spent some time to put together and I had this fear that that was all going to just go if I was to take the risk and, and push past my fear and start something. Um, but all it was was that psychological fear of financial loss that was there and I think it's there for everyone. The only way you're ever going to take action is if you get past that. There's always going to be a element of fear of financial loss when you start something new or start a business venture. But if you let that hold you back, you'll never start. It's something that will always be there. No matter, no matter how, how many years you wait, you'll always have that fear. The only way that I got over that is to realize that the potential financial upside was so much greater than the potential financial downside of making the start with the business. You, know, you might make some mistakes, you might lose money um, initially, but as long as you're in it for the long run, you'll you'll turn that around and you'll learn from your mistakes and you'll learn how to, to make that money back. So, And then the upside that you can gain from growing a business is endless, actually limitless, to be able to achieve as much as you want within business. As soon as your income is tied to the profits of a business, the more value that you can create and the more, the more times you can uh, serve customers, the more money you can generate for yourself. There's unlimited upside, but the downside is limited to uh, to less than you think. So I want to share with you a little bit more about the fears that I had before I started in dropshipping so you can understand really that it's something that I don't think anyone's immune to. I had these fears of loss. I had this fear of not being good enough. And I don't know if anyone can resonate, but you think about a task that you've never done before and nobody that you know has ever done before. Perhaps you want to have your own online business that allows you to travel the world um, while making more income than you generate from a normal nine to five. You don't want to have a manager breathing down your neck. You want to be able to choose how you spend your time. 
And when you first step out onto that journey to achieve that, I know if you're anything like me, you had that fear and that, those questions in the back of your mind saying, you know, who are you to think that? Who are you to believe that you're able to achieve something that you've never done before? And, uh, and it was those fears that would keep me up at night. They'd stop me from taking action. And that's why for, for, for years, for longer than I wish it had been, uh, I just didn't take action. I didn't get out of my comfort zone. It was only when I realized that there was, um, you know, training out there or there was things that I could learn just day by day that would be enough to get me started slowly and then really ramp up once I uh, knew what I was doing. That got me over the edge. And I had this switch moment where you realize that as long as you are willing to learn, it doesn't matter what experience you've got so far. As long as you're willing to learn and you've got the right mindset about, about it, then you can really excel in whatever it is that you go after. Something else that you might be able to resonate with is a fear about what others will think about you. And this comes from evolution, you know, from thousands of years of human. The, the instinct is to make sure you please your tribe so you don't get outcast. And because if, you know, a thousand years ago, if you got outcast from your tribe and if people thought bad of you, then it would lead to a certain death you know, because you'd be thrown out of the tribe. Nowadays, that doesn't exist. You know, there will always be people that don't agree with, with what you do. And it doesn't mean that there's going to be certain death around the corner if you if you allow people to disagree with what you're doing. And I think any pursuit that you do that's out of the norm, whether that's start a business or you record these videos on YouTube, there'll be people that disagree with what you're doing. But the, the, the thing is, it was the same with me, and I'm sure it will be with you. The reason you want to start a business in the first place is to, you know, is to help others, to serve others, um, and also to help your family and to build a better life for your family and yourself. Um, so ultimately, when you're coming from that place, you don't need to worry about what others think about you, as you know in your yourself that you're doing it because you want to increase uh, the uh, the life that you're living and the, the life you can provide for your family as well. So that brings us to the second part of the video, where we're going to talk about the actions now that you can take to reduce that fear and take action towards the goals that you want to achieve. So the way I approach overcoming fear is a little bit unconventional I think because the first thing that I do to get over that fear is to accept that failure is inevitable so actually to realize that you know, you're going to get started with something but initially it's going to be difficult there's going to be challenges and it's going to be something that you're going to look back on and think well that that was difficult you know getting started it, it, you know there's going to be some failure involved now it's not going to be failure overall it's not going to be a failure that means that it was never the right thing to do in the first place. It just means there's going to be inevitable obstacles and failures along the way before you get to your inevitable goal. Now, what that does, is certainly for me, it means that that fear of getting started is completely withdrawn. That fear of failure is taken away because you're already accepting that there's going to be hurdles, there's going to be obstacles. And so the amount of fear that is just released when you accept that there's going to be an element of failure and it doesn't matter what you do, that just gives me so much power to then just decide, well, I'm going to do it anyway. I'll go through the hurdles and eventually it will all be worth it because I'll get to the success that you want anyway. You know, the key part to all of that is that, yes, there'll be some difficult challenges, but this absolutely will be worth it in the end because you'll have got started, you'll have learned from mistakes, you've got so much better at whatever pursuit you're taking. And eventually you'll succeed. Now, when I started with a business in the UK, I was drop shipping products. I didn't know what to sell. I didn't know, you know, how to create a store. I didn't know how to create a marketing campaign. So I knew that inevitably when I first started to sell products and first started to create marketing campaigns, there was going to be failure involved. But I was willing to take on that failure and learn from those and continue anyway. So when I started my first ever drop shipping store, this is going back now. A uh, few years, I uh, started selling products from China using the AliExpress model, which you might be familiar with. And I was selling shoelaces, I was selling game pads, you know, these type of small widget project uh, products that clearly were not right. There's no demand for them, but I'm so glad that I started. Even though that was failure, it's inevitably led me to realise that actually I needed to go through a different model. I needed to sell high quality products coming from UK suppliers so they can get to customers within a few days. But I never would have learned that if I didn't take that first step to make those first few mistakes and failures. And now I can learn from these failures and tell you not to do the same. Then the second strategy and the second most important one behind accepting failures 
is then equipping yourself with knowledge. So the old saying that knowledge is power, you know, it's true. And I think knowledge also reduces fear. It, uh, it gives you that confidence in yourself. That you know how to go after the goal you want to achieve, which is going to be crucial for you. So if you want to start an e-commerce business in the UK, just an online business, then I'd recommend that you follow some form of training program. And from that training program, you learn so much knowledge about the pursuit that you're taking and you're surrounded by a community of people that are already you know, familiar with that area, that that knowledge takes away fear because you then feel confident that you know what it is you need to be doing every day. And that just eradicates the fear because you're so busy taking action and pushing on with the, the tasks you need to do. You haven't got time to be fearful about not wanting to take action because you just know just to take the next step every day. So hopefully this video has helped you to understand what the fear is initially and then to take action. Now it's important, you know, don't just watch these videos passively. I hope my YouTube channel is different from others where you can watch the videos, pick up the tactics and then feel like you've learned something that you can put in place straight away. And knowledge without action is completely pointless. So pick up on these things that we mentioned today start to think about how can you, you know, accept failure, you know, accept it's gonna happen, and then think about how can you pick up knowledge so that you can go ahead and take fear to one side and take the action that you need to take. Overcoming fear will be the first victory of many. So once you get started, then after that, you'll always look back on that initial step by overcoming that fear with pride, and I know I do, and I want you to as well. So thanks for watching. I hope this has been helpful for you. Don't forget to like, uh, comment and subscribe on the video to help share this with others. I hope you have a fantastic day and I'll catch you in the next video.